everybody. It is Friday, and isn't it a fantastic one? I'm just here finishing up my workout, and I'm doing the cool down. It takes me about two and a half minutes or so to do the cool down. Um, but honestly, it's kind of my favorite part of the workout. Sorry, I'm kind of a little bit wobbly. I've taken off my shoes to try and get a bit of better stability on the floor here. But um, you see me looking to the side, it's because I'm just like, kind of watching what I'm supposed to be doing for my stretches. I still don't have it memorized. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my Friday mindset and how it's changed. When I was struggling with my body image, when I was struggling with my health, I would look at Fridays that be like the end of the week. I've worked hard all week. I deserve a break. I deserve to take a rest and um, I just kind of shut down for three days, right? I would try and take Friday afternoons to unwind a little bit. I'd watch a movie. I'd veg out on the couch. I might give myself some treats. And what that would get me was exactly what it sounds like. It would get me nowhere, really. I would feel crummy. I'd feel bloated. I'd be tired. So I could do nothing more but rest on the weekends. And kind of just like at the end of the workout, it's really important to cool down. It's really important to take a little bit of downtime. But the cool down is meant to stretch you out, to allow your body to recover and repair a little bit, but it's also meant to help you keep going so that you can be stronger and do more things for the rest of the week. And lounging out on the couch and watching movies and stuffing my face with a bag of chips on a Friday night and a can of Coke, it did nothing for me. I didn't get any energy out of it. I didn't get any recovery from it. All I did was get tired and worn out. And so I wanted to tell you about how things have changed. Fridays for me are still fun days. They're still kind of quieter days. We tend to do something as a family in the evening. We tend to you know watch watch a movie together or something. But my mindset my mindset has shifted because I don't stop on a Friday like I used to. I make sure that I still get my stuff done. I still make sure that I've got healthy food in my fridge, that I've got a good meal that we're eating. Sometimes we'll, sometimes we'll have a little bit of a treat and we'll order a pizza or something like that, but I always have vegetables to go along with it. I always make a salad or, you know, some fresh veggies chopped up. And I always make sure that on the weekends especially, I get my workout in. It's been a game changer for me. I no longer have to feel guilty that I'm having a slice of pizza on a Friday night because guess what? I've worked out all week. I've eaten all week really, really well and I've earned it. Um, it's just a complete mindset shift. So I want you guys to think about this going into the weekend. The weekend is a time to have fun. It's a time to unwind. It's a time to relax a little bit, but it's not a time to let go completely because you can completely undo everything that you've done in the week in three days. I've done it before. Even while I've been on my fitness, health and fitness journey, you know, letting loose completely has derailed me for the weekend and I've had to start fresh again on Monday. And I, I feel like I'm catching up and that's not a way for me to go. So think about this going into the weekend. You know, how are you going to prepare yourself? How are you going to keep yourself on track? Are you going to be getting outside and, and moving around or are you gonna be doing a workout, going to the gym or are you gonna be logging on? and doing a little bit of a workout. Getting moving first thing in the morning is a great way to start your day. It clears your head, it gets you to be um, more energized so you can be more fully enjoying your weekend. And are you gonna make sure that you've got lots of good food in your fridge? Are you gonna make sure that you're not, uh, you know, kiboshing everything that you've worked so hard for during the week? Um, if you need any help getting started or keeping yourself on track, I run accountability groups on a monthly basis. I'm in the midst of uh, two groups running right now and they are doing absolutely great. They're having so much fun today. We're having a fun Friday and we're all posting silly selfies of ourselves with different filters and just having a great laugh at how we how silly we look. It's really lighthearted, but it's also really supportive and a really great environment for, for the people who are in it 
So if you're looking for a supportive space, I've got one that I'd love to offer you. All you have to do is send me a message, you know, comment on this video or send me a private message if you prefer. You can email me, you can call me if you've got my number. Um, you can go over to my health and fitness page, my, my number is there. Feel free to give me a call or a text or whatever it is that you need to do, however you need to get yourself accountable so that you can really start to cherish the body that you've been given. You know, we have unlimited chances to start new. We have unlimited chances to make a change in our own lives. But that being said, we have one life to live. So if you keep waiting and waiting and waiting, it's going to get a lot harder to start afresh. So I wanted to leave you with that thought for today. Um, send me a message. I've got a group starting again on July 10th. If June is a crazy busy month for you, that's totally understandable. I know people are winding down with school and um, getting geared up for summer, but uh, summertime is the time when you start noticing that your clothes don't fit so well anymore and you start noticing that hey, you have to start showing your arms and your knees a little bit and you might not feel as comfortable as you would like. So get yourself on the wagon and I can help you stay on it. So just let me know if you need some help and I'd be happy, happy, happy to offer it to you. Have yourselves a fantastic Friday. You know, go crazy. Have a silly selfie for yourself and laugh at yourself a little bit too. Laughter is a great, um, you know, uh, energy booster as well. So have a great day and I hope to see you all soon. Take care. Mwah. Bye.